Next up, I'm putting more objects in the line of fire, but this time at the local arcade. I rounded up some young hotshots to show them the awesome power of the laser. This laser is 10 times stronger than the one found in a Blu-ray player, and I've brought along a few props to show its true power. First up is laser pointing at popcorn kernels, all right? And I'm focusing it right on the popcorn. Now watch this. There it is. Oh, no. That's awesome. You ever seen that before? That's crazy. Pop the kernel, right? That's the heat from the laser. What? Next one, right? Let's okay. turn it onto okay. the matches. Now watch this one. It's right on the head of the match, right on the tip. Thank you very much. Oh, Did that just happen? Wow. How was that? That's, that's... OK, now that you've seen that, I'm going to point it at the balloons, right? Once at the red, once at the blue. What's going to happen to the balloons? They're going to pop. They're going to pop. I think they're going to pop, too. They're going to pop? Yeah, it popped the popcorn, it burned the match. It's definitely going to pop the balloon. So we've seen that light emitted from a laser can be transformed into a weapon of destruction. But what will happen if it hits the balloons? Will it pop both balloons, pop only the red balloon, pop only the blue balloon, or pop neither balloon? Let's go red balloon first, all right? Red balloon? Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. Right. Yeah. right, so, so far, you guys are all right, OK? OK. Right, now, how's about the blue one? Uh -huh. Blue gonna one's going to pop as well. Same thing's going to happen? In serious? The fact that you're asking makes me feel like maybe there's something to this. So the answer is B. It popped only the red balloon. Anyone any idea why? This is amazing. You can leave it on there pretty much all day long. Because what do you put inside of it? Nope. It's not blown up as much as the red one. No. Because it's blue? Because it's blue. When we see an object as a certain colour, it's because only that colour is being reflected by the object. All the other colours of the spectrum are being absorbed. Now, with a laser, it's slightly different because a laser is, in our case, a very concentrated, focused beam of purely one colour. And that colour is blue. OK. So we get a little stream of blue light, no other colours but blue, comes along, hits something blue and reflects off it, right? Yes. Goes into Andy's mouth. <laughs> but if we sent these blue things along to hit like we did, something red. Okay. Check this out. Blue light comes along from the laser and hits the red bit on your dress there. Okay. What's going to happen? It won't reflect. What will it do? It'll it will absorb. Absorb it. Ah. And when it absorbs the heat, like black on a hot day, it gets hot and it pops. Yes, please. <laughs> you get me? I got you. You like that? Yeah. Oh, yeah.